Hi, my name is Daniel Levers. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the project I built for the MSC dissertation. It's an iPad application that allows a user to take an Apple Pencil and sketch out a user interface. The system then recognizes their sketches and turns it into a generated user interface and generates the code to go alongside it. So we start off on the introduction screen. This is sort of a dual purpose screen that was designed for both the data capture side of things and allows us to get to the drawing app itself. So once past this screen, the user can turn on the preview on the right hand side and the left hand side is for drawing. Um, so if we, we've got a drawer of tools which we can access and then we can access a pencil and draw out, say, a navigation bar. So we start with the title, generates the text, and we can turn that into a navigation bar with a back button and a right hand bar button. Um, you can see as we draw on the left, the interface is generated on the right. Um, we're able to generate navigation bars, labels, images, more general labels where we've used wavy lines to represent a block of text, um, along with buttons. And the buttons are active. You can tap them and you get an alert to simulate the response. You can see you can switch that right hand preview pane into code mode or user interface layout mode. Um, and we can, while we're in code mode, we can show that this is all changing. So we can use the eraser tool to then go and change the title and you'll see the code update on the right hand side. Um, and then we can write in a different title and you'll see the code update on the right hand side, both in the preview and in the code generated version of the preview. Again, we can rub out, say, the button at the bottom, the code will update in the code preview, and it also updates in the user interface preview. We could generate a tab bar by drawing out the bottom elements. That generates a tab bar, as you can see, and it's generated the code for that tab bar as well. As you can see in the video, we can then swap it back to a different button if we want. Whatever we want to do, we can essentially erase the drawings, re redo the drawings, and we're presented with a new layout. We can then export this code. So we can save it either on device on the iPad or we can save it to a, a cloud drive. Um, and then we can use a handy button at the top right to go to the Swift Playgrounds app from Apple. We can open the code that we generated in there and run it completely independently in Apple's Playgrounds app. We can also export this out to Xcode and again run it in Xcode on the Mac. Thank you for watching.